My new range of uh, wagons for Trains Rail Sim are 15 foot wheelbase four plank wagons. There we are. And I've produced four of these. And I know the numbering is correct because I actually have in the diagram the numbering list that uh, Russell provided in his book. And you can see there that I've got slightly different textures with them just to give a bit of variety. Uh, for these uh, wagons and these will take a variety of loads and I want to show you one load in particular if we start with number I think it's only set for one of them uh, 898 there we are I've been experimenting using this one as an experiment because I produced a I think it's six up here we are it's carboys and uh, I'll just show you these they look pretty odd but these are acid, bottles of acid or something similar, some other noxious liquid as a load. And I've mucked about a lot with these, trying to get the glass to look more glass-like. And I've put on a reflection and then taken it off again. It's not, I'm just not happy about it. So I think this is a fair compromise. And these were packed in straw in these uh, mesh baskets. And although this has got a, this is a, a substantial load, and you can see the positioning isn't particularly good there. Uh, this was just a test to see this. And I'm not adding these into the uh, configs of the other uh, wagons or indeed into the, uh, I think it's in the release version of, of this wagon, but I wouldn't normally have added it into the other. So it's up to you to decide what you want to take into the config, um, either remove or delete, uh, either delete or add uh, different categories of uh, different types of load. Now on these I've also brought in some uh, logs. So we had 15 foot logs in the in the uh, seven plank wagons and now we've got 24 foot logs same sort of idea for the 15 foot wheelbase uh, wagons, these great big wagons here. So if we do this one, the other one I've got here, where are we? It's a two load. These are pipes, 24 foot pipes. There we are. So very similar, in fact the same, as the 15 foot pipes, only longer. Just to provide another load. And if we go to here, we can still get the, there we are, barrels for open wagon. And we can have a maximum of six of those. We have a lot of barrels. And let's try the end one. What should we do there? Three. These are the pit props, which was apparently quite a substantial traffic for the Great Western. And this is the correct way of stacking them. I have it from a photograph and from Russ in Russell's book about the Great Western uh, goods vehicles. And in fact, some of the ways in which these um, timbers were stacked was, was really quite surprising. It looked very sort of hairy today to us, but um, that was the way they did it. For example, there were planks which actually overhung the end. And so long as they didn't overhung, overhang the buffers, uh, as far as the buffers, then they were okay. But anything that did, you'd have to add a match truck there to prevent them being um, overhanging uh, another load or another vehicle. So these are the, uh, as I say, the 15 foot wheelbase. This is O, uh, o that's capital letter, O8 uh, category or class of uh, Great Western Railway goods vehicles. And if we start to add in, I don't know, five plank, what else have we got here? Standard gauge, there we are, it's a seven plank, seven plank. You can see we're beginning to get a bit of a variety of freight vehicles and I'm going to continue uh, I'm going to continue adding to this range so that we get a good uh, possibility of a good long freight train uh, for that wonderful Great Western Railway. So there we are, that's the 15 foot wheelbase, 24 foot long just over uh, wagons and the next one after this will probably also be a 15 foot wheelbase long uh, wagon for the Great Western. So I hope this uh, video has introduced these vehicles to you and you're very uh, welcome to download them from my website only. I'm not uploading these to the 
uh, DLS. I've seen all sorts of things coming out from the trains newsletter and I'm not quite sure how all this membership and paying for downloading from the DLS um, is uh, going to affect things. So I'm just, just going to keep uh, loading stuff on, onto my website. It's all free. It's all freeware. It's all, all available and uh, you can download as much of it as you want, as little of it as you want. And of course you can download other commodities and add them into other products, add them into these wagons just by editing the config text file. Uh, if you open that up in uh, Content, Content Manager Plus CMP, uh, the database, and uh, open up the individual model, then you can add in as many different types of products as you like. I mean, there's quite a few listed already. Uh, these are all the product loads. If we have a look at those, kaolin, slurry, sand, gravel, loose, lo <laughs> I'm not sure that's <laughs> loose. Um, crushed stone, bulk load granite, coal, uh, that's my own ironstone, limestone, and quarried limestone. Those would go with my um, lime kiln. Those last two, the limestone ones, would go with my lime kiln model. And here we've got, apart from barrels, we've got uh, crates, a mix of crates, milk churns, sacks, and oil drums. Those are the pipes, those are the pit props, those are the logs, and that's that general one, the general goods, which um, is more so that you can load up, you can add to another product list. And um, so those are all mutually exclusive, those lists, although we can highlight them here. So I hope that's been of interest. And uh, these will be, all of these, these four plank and the five plank ones will be available in my September website update which should be uh, in the next week or so so in about mid-september sometime like that 2019 well i hope this video has been of use uh, if you have any queries or comments about these vehicles um these freight vehicles there there are more to come plenty more i've got lots and lots of plans uh quite literally plans and pla plans of my own and plans from the book um so plenty more of these vehicles to come and uh, please leave a comment, please leave a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel.